Let us start with NBC's Sam Brock, who, as you can see, pitched in while he was reporting yesterday to help out a stranded driver. Hey, Sam, morning. Hi, Hoda. Good morning. A lot of good Samaritans out there. We just wanted to help out. Look, right now there is a break in the rain. That we know is not going to last. There are five counties this morning under a state of emergency. That includes Miami-Dade and Broward, which collectively have about four and a half million people. While here in Aventura, hundreds, Hoda, were stranded yesterday under feet of water. Now it's receded an astonishing amount just overnight. But you're still looking right now at that cluster of cars in the middle of this intersection. That is representative of many blocks all over this area. As we move forward right now, there are residents here just dealing with yet another record rainfall. A weekday washout across South Florida, unleashing life-threatening flash flooding over hundreds of miles. This is the most water we ever had in my neighborhood. Dumping more than a foot of rain from Fort Lauderdale to Aventura. That's where this man climbed out of a window of his car to push his vehicle through a lagoon Nearby, 21-year-old Gracia Faye describing how she felt driving a car she just bought through the high waters. Got anxious, stressed, everything. The return of tropical moisture across the region spawning a water spout off Miami Beach. While an EF1 tornado ripped through Martin County. We are in the middle of tornado. Cutting off Jupiter Island. The chaos from storms and flooding on full display on Miami's iconic A1A. While some drivers were trapped, and others pulled over to get out of harm's way. How would you describe the conditions right now? Very bad. Harm. Getting anywhere seemed to require wading through murky water, even inside of a mall parking lot. It's too much. Like, it's at least half my cab was underwater. The rising water that transformed roads into rivers, shutting down a stretch of I-95 for some time, and bringing multiple airports in the state to a standstill. I'm going to miss all my connection flight, and I'm stuck here. At one point, Fort Lauderdale's airport saw six and a half inches of rain in six hours as hundreds of flights across the state were delayed or canceled. All of this coming on the heels of a record-breaking rainfall striking Sarasota Tuesday, more than eight inches falling in three hours near the downtown area. That represents a once-in-a-thousand-year rainfall event. Now, the same areas that got the worst of it yesterday, northern Miami-Dade County and southern Broward are once again, guys, in the bullseye, which means it's not going to take much to trigger yet another flash flood emergency. We'll be on the ground and following all of it. Back to you, Hoda. Wow, okay. Once in a thousand year storm. Let's go over to Mr. Oker and get a check of it. Hey, Al. Hey, guys. Good morning and good morning to you. We do have flash flood watches. I should say flood watches from just south of Tampa all the way down to the Keys. Seven million people. And here's the deal. As Sam mentioned, it's not going to take much. In fact, National Weather Service, they're saying if they get a quarter of an inch of rain more, this could trigger off some more severe flooding. And we are probably going to see that today. Tropical moisture stays in place. We're looking at significant rainfall totals again. That will add to flooding tomorrow. This front still just hangs there, and so the flood risk will continue for southern Florida. We could see, on top of what they've already seen, another 5 to 10 inches of rain. Plus, we've got the tropics starting to heat up. We've got an area that could develop off the uh, Florida coast, but the one we're most concerned about is down in the Gulf. It may not become a tropical system, but it is going to be making its way up toward the north into the Gulf, and this could bring significant heavy rain and flooding. They've already got saturated ground, so we're going to be watching this. And we've also got to worry about, guys, a heat wave that is going to be setting up in the mid-Atlantic states, the north Northeast, the Great Lakes, highs could be over 25 degrees above average. We're talking about records that could be set. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.